This is compote pepper, the champagne of pepper. From one tree, farmers produce four different colors. Compared to common black pepper, compote pepper offers a stronger flavor and aroma. Chefs and locals describe it as pungent, fruity, and citrusy. Online, a kilo of black gumbot peppercorns can cost over $70. The rarest white peppercorns can cost over $100 per kilogram. The wholesale price of regular black pepper from Cambodia is less than $4 per kilogram. <laughs> Voon, like his father before him, is a pepper farmer. He follows strict requirements so that he can sell his pepper as gumpot. If everything goes well, there could be big profits. But this year won't be easy. Voon could lose half of his harvest and the profits that come with it. So what does the future have in store for this rare pepper? And why is it so expensive? Only pepper grown in these specific areas of southern Cambodia can be sold as gumpot. In 2016, the European Union awarded pepper grown here and in neighboring Kep province a protected geographical indication. A PGI states that the environmental factors of this region make the pepper unique, like real champagne or Darjeeling tea. For farmers like Voon, the price premium from the PGI is essential. Growing pepper is hard work. Even on large farms, workers pick each cluster by hand. The berries are small, and vines can grow over five meters tall. Green peppercorns have a fresh, citrusy flavor, but they're not as spicy as the other colors, depending on how long berries stay on the vine and how they're processed. Farmers produce either black, red, or white pepper. And while there is demand for green peppercorns, workers can't just pick everything all at once. Picking too early means pepper can't be used for the more valuable red and white peppercorns. The longer a pepper stays on the vine, the more it ripens, developing the flavor. The demand for compote pepper outside of Cambodia grew in the late 19th century when French colonists started exporting it to Europe. Compote pepper is so special that Nobody can really just use a word to describe the whole thing. But to me, compote pepper is its intense, it's spicy, it's pungent. It has a very, very beautiful fragrance that's very important. But another thing that is special about it also is about the coloring, that it stays beautiful and fresh so long, long time. For me, you know, growing up in Cambodia and use a compote pepper all my life and then um, use other um, pepper, it's almost like I'm using the pepper that is not peppery. <laughs> but it's also a bit earthy and not as pungent and also not fragrant. It's, it's very, very hard to compare. So the process of roasting it helps the peppers to spread out the aroma and that's also make our dish very fragrant and beautiful. So we're going to be adding a few rows of this fresh and green peppercorn. Ooh, beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay. 
For me, um, cooking amazing Cambodian uh, cuisine, it starts from each individual ingredients. So peppercorn is one of them, but Cambodia has a lot more to tell through food. Last year, Boon harvested around 500 kilos, but this year, he might not even get half of that. Using natural fertilizer and no harmful pesticides are two of several certification requirements Voon must follow. And Voon says, if farmers don't follow these rules, they could be kicked out of the association. Back at Voon's house, he sorts the pepper by ripeness and removes any defects. Careful, clean sorting is also part of maintaining certification. After sorting, Voon and his family wash the peppercorns, then they lay them out on raised beds to dry. As the pepper ripens, it turns from green to yellow to red. Each colour peppercorn undergoes a different process, and each has its own culinary use. Farmers dry yellow-green pepper into black peppercorns, which have a strong spiciness and aroma. Their taste is more floral compared to unripe green pepper. Red peppercorns are sweeter and have a fruitier aroma. Chefs also use them in some desserts. To get white peppercorns, Voon boils the ripe berries and removes the skin by hand. Locals describe the taste as pungent, with notes of fresh grass, lime, and even anise. Chefs also use white peppercorns to avoid black speckles in sauces. To remove the skin, Boon presses the peppercorns against the side of this basket. Finally, Boon is ready to sell his pepper. One of the largest farms in the region is La Plantation. 
Depending on the year, it grows around 8 to 12 percent of Cambodia's gumpot pepper. One of the owners, Nathalie, doesn't find demand to be an issue. She's optimistic about gumpot's future. I think every year we, we sell our whole production and we buy a lot from small farmers. I think gumpot pepper will grow because, uh, you know, tourism also is back, so more and more people are coming back to Cambodia. All the people, when they try compote pepper, you know, they fell in love with uh, compote pepper. So no risk that uh, the demand will, uh, will decrease. La Plantation has access to overseas markets that smaller producers don't. To meet international demand, the company buys and processes pepper from other farmers in the region. What is important for us also is to help the small farmers who cannot access to international market. So we as a farmer, producer and exporter, we buy a lot every year of compote pepper from small family farms and they are doing a fantastic pepper, so we are very proud of their pepper and the quality of the, the pepper produced. Large farms have the resources to navigate the fluctuating market and to cash in on the tourist potential of the protected geographical indication. Much like a vineyard, La Plantation has opened its fields to visitors for tours and tastings. But if demand doesn't increase, large farms could make it difficult for smaller farmers to compete. Even in the face of these challenges, Voon says he can weather the competition. ខ្ញុំក៏ចង់បានដោយថាអ្នកពីចម្ងាយមកក៏ធ្វើទៅធ្វើដូចគ្នាទៅបើថាអ្នកដែលចង់បានចង់ Wholesale prices for compote peppercorns range from $15 to $28 per kilo, depending on the colour. But prices can reach even higher. La Plantation sells black peppercorns for $50 per kilogram and white and red for $60 per kilogram. Online, it charges almost double that. For comparison, other peppercorns produced in Cambodia sold for around $3.45 per kilogram in 2022. Since earning the geographical indication, compote peppers production has increased dramatically from around 16 metric tons in 2010 to over 100 in 2021. Although it's still less than 1% of Cambodia's pepper harvest each year. And the wholesale prices of compote pepper have tripled since 2009, which means more profit for farmers like Foon. The problem is demand. The annual production aims to satisfy tourists and export markets. But recently, there's been oversupply. In 2022, Cambodia exported around 79 metric tons, a 31% drop from the year before. The Compot Pepper Promotion Association attributes this slump to a reduction in international spending. This can be a challenge for small farmers. If there isn't enough demand, they might have to sell their pepper below the market price. Some farmers have moved on from pepper production altogether. There has been about a 7% decrease in the number of compot producers since 2019. Even so, the total number of producers is still 70% higher than it was in 2015. Voon's family has been farming pepper for decades. But like many in Cambodia, they had to stop in the 70s during the deadly Khmer Rouge regime. After some time, they were able to start again. Voon's farm now has around 600 vines. <laughs> ກະຖາສໍາລັບຂອງພູມນີ້ໃຫ້ກໍຊິນະ <coughs> Mà cực đoan xâm hợp, không khổ xa, tôi tôi đôi khi nhầm.